Ati yogera kukushe chigenda maso, chinyo nyole, hawa mm. somi bange. Ok, eh. Muruganda? Yes, okay. Muruganda ne Mulungerezi. Eh, ok, mm. ukwe gambo kusoka, mm. ukuzi what they call first plowing. Mm -hmm. And in first plowing, normally the tractor tries to use what we call deep, deep plowing. Where the plow tries to go deep, but because of these different arms in the garden, in fact, it is not in the garden. We are proposing to do it twice so that we make it more fine. Mm. In most cases, whatever we plant requires something which is fine mm. because, in most cases, they are in the form of small seeds. The finer it is, the better. Mm. The crop will come out very strong and it will bear bigger or bigger harvest. Mm -hmm. That is the intention. So we are doing first and second plowing. Mm. But because of not having enough time, mm. normally we give a space of two weeks mm. so that we allow the soil to ferment. Time we are done bad and we are doing it today. We are doing both the plowings today and eventually we shall put the discarding. What are the costs involved in an acre to, to do this kind of work? The cost involved from beginning to year to the end. thousand and one twenty thousand mm. per acre. Mm. Yes. Mm. So what do you advise farmers to do so that they can increase their production? Generally farmers require to use tractor. Because when you use a tractor, maize the deeper you plow, it means that the maize plant we do have roots as wide as, the, as this. And this corresponds to the fruit which is put up, mm. which means bigger harvest. Mm. Of course, there are some other conditions involved. Mm. You can do the plowing very well, and you fail to weed on time. Mm. It, it may bring down the harvest. But assuming other factors constant, when you do the plowing very well, it is very, very good. find it difficult, especially in this new field, to go deep. And mm. by going deep, it means getting all the necessary nutrients mm. according to that if whatever you are planting. Mm. So there is something you lose if you don't use a tractor. And even the, the time will take. For example, you have spent here less than 10 minutes. But we are doing reasonable work, mm. which even 30 prisoners cannot do.
How many years of experience do you have in this kind of work? Yes, I can know because, for example, experience is current. Okay, you may be 40 years, mm. but then having an experience of over 70 years, mm. my experience is wide, especially in these old tractors, mm. which may appear old, but the engine is new. Mm. Mm. Apart from insisting on these new model tractors, first of all, they are costly and they are not powerful. Mm. These they are called vantage tractors, they are very very good. Mm. Uh, so I started tractors when I was young. And I, I can repair tractors. Fortunately I studied mechanical engineering. Mm. First degree and even second degree. Mm. And uh, it is the type of work I'm doing. Mm. And you will see daily. Daily work. Because daily I'm supposed to read about tractors. Mm. Now you talk about old tractors. Is it uh, is it that you buy the old and what kind of old model tractors do you buy and then repair or what what, what do you mean by old tractors? I uh, can repair some tractors like that one is a 1970 mo model. Master Ferguson? No, Case mm. International. Case. It's called International Vista. Mm. But then there are some which are even of 1959. Mm. But you can repair any tractor. Mm. What you need is two things, three things. First, knowledge of repairing. Mm. Second, money, mm. and even maybe time. Mm. You, you can repair it up to the standard you want. Mm. And me, it is what I'm doing. So what you do, you look for all the tractors that have been abandoned the, yeah, in some I, places, I, I, and then I, you repair, repair them. them. Any special kind of tractors that you you look for? Me, I'm oh. interested in German tractors. Mm. They are better tractors. Mm. But then for my other customers, I can repair any mm. tractors. As long as you're interested in it. But of course, some depend on a very bit of spares. Sometimes we get spares online and it may be a bit expensive. But you can repair any tractors. So an average vintage refurbished tractor, how much does it cost? from you here, after you have refurbished in Uganda, it mm. in, in, in Uganda it can cost in Uganda okay there is no standard cost but you from you from you it, after you have here yeah. mm. putting it okay mm. Mm. normally in vehicles we group vehicles mm. in three categories mm. A, B, C mm. A is new B is as good as new then you see maybe some people call it beyond repair mm. but there is nothing like beyond repair in as long as you get the right spares mm. so normally when we get a customer we normally explain to him then he can choose for example you can repair a tractor to be as good as new as good as new means it is making the same work power is not related to what they are buying. You are buying a new tractor, 120 million, you're giving it to someone who has never completed the level. They are stealing fuel, they are stealing oils. It cannot remain for working for three hours mm. and you get problems. Mm. If you have borrowed the money, you may be in problems. Mm. Uh, generally, mm. there is that problem of knowing how to handle those old about how many acres do you work on in a season? In a season, I normally I have about three tractors. It can be around between 500 and 700. And you have those many customers who are using the tractors? Yeah, uh, I have them. Mm. 
suppose mm. apart from plowing, mm. I include in some extension work device, mm. like especially on maize, mm. planting maize, the yield you can get, the different varieties, things like that. Do you have planters? Me personally, I don't have planters, but when it is maize, mm. we normally plant using this plow. Because most of our gardens are rough, mm. they are not fit for planters. Mm. But I plant using a disc plow. How do you do that? First of all, you do the first plowing. Mm. Then, instead of doing the second plowing, you do it then simultaneously. You do the second plowing at the same time plowing. Uh, you seeding. do the first follow, mm. they put seeds, you get about five men. Mm. They put seeds, then when it comes back, mm. when it is covering the first line where they have put seeds, it is putting another line. Mm. Like that. Mm. And in a day you can, you can plant between five to seven acres using five men. Mm. Mm. And normally for maize, even other crops, it depends, the, the more seeds you put in a garden, mm. the better. Mm. Because, like for me, the standard requirement is about 10, 10 kilos. But when you use your hands locally, you can rarely plant 5 kilograms. Mm. Which means even you lose before the, the plants have come out. Mm. Yeah. But when you put between 10 and 12, then the, the remaining things is doing the weeding on time putting the right fertilizers and then you pray to God for rain to come. Mm. Everything will come out nicely. Mm. And you can get between 2,000 and 3,000 kilograms per acre. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what's it? That Say something ab about your, your your company, your names and the, your the message. I'm called David Engineer, Mechanical Engineer. And generally, my company is Subi Enterprises. Uh, generally, I deal in tractors, mm. tractor repair, tractor servicing, training operators, and even ordering spares online. Where are you located? I'm located at Wachiso. It's called the Wachiso Nkowe. Mm. But generally, I have a farm of 100 acres where I do the demonstrations. Mm. I have mm. And what is your advice to this farm? The way you see it, it's going to be a model demonstration farm for the growing of uh, uh, avocado and uh, has uh, avocado as well as um, uh, seed crops like soya bean, yes. maize, a little bit of maize, not so much of maize. I think um, has avocado has a future mm. in Uganda. Mm. Very few people have known about it, but you have read about it especially in Nairobi mm. and it has wide market mm. and we need the vacados and the people are trying to they are beginning to buy mm. because when they they talk of the harvest per acre you can get a lot of money in vacado even if you sell it at 500 mm. per vacado and the people are willing to buy mm. yeah and what is in the market they normally harvest them before they are ready Mm. But when you wait for the right time, there is no doubt mm. people will buy. Mm. Then about the soya seeds, there is a lot of requirement, especially both human and animal feeds. Mm. And there is a lot of market. Mm. Apart from, you can even get oil, mm. but you are not yet at that level. Mm. Much as it can also be requirement in the future. Mm. Uh, yes. Mm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And we are interested in partnering with you in terms of purchasing tractors yeah, yes. and also getting your services for the cultivation and everything else and to encourage farmers. Yeah, okay, the purpose of this garden is to encourage our schools yeah, yes. to mechanize. Okay. They are there pretending to be, you know, participating in agriculture, modernization of agriculture, yeah, yes. but they are using hand hose which are not even the size of their fist. Yeah, yeah. Eh? And so in the process, as you say, we cannot get enough produce even to feed the children that are in the school. Yeah, yes. The families are getting poorer because they are investing more in uh, non-starter projects. Yeah, yes. And so we are very happy to have you. 
it has been long in waiting but at least at last we have found you no, you are <laughs> thank you thank you very much